Hey guys, it's Jennifer Hansen and for today's vlog is we're going to talk about my pregnancy journey. So I'm already six months right now and three months away for being a mother. So I didn't really make a vlog for my <laughs> pregnancy because it was really horrible. Like for the first few months of it, like I've been hospitalized two times. But before we proceed to this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell if you want more updates. The first time we discovered that I was pregnant was last june 13 like this year and i was surprised because um i didn't have a sickness and i was just really delayed in my period and i was worried if i have picos so i asked my husband if we need to have a checkup and then i booked an appointment to our a nearest ob to have an appointment to check if i'm okay so I was still working in Radisson Blue that time in the hotel and like sometimes I feel dizzy but I think it's just natural because um, we're working eight hours on our feet and I always wake up early in the morning take a shower like I wake up 5 a.m. and then I go to the hotel at 6 and then after that I go home at 3 so that's my routine and we only have a one day day off and that time sometimes I don't even have a day off so it's like straight so after that like June 13 um, I was asking my husband if he could buy me a pregnancy test because I feel like there's something off like I don't know so we just want to check because um, we're really planning to have a baby and I want to have a baby since it's my goal to be a mother at the age of 25 and I always told him that I want to be a mom like that <laughs> it's so funny so so we bought a pregnancy test like just two of it and then because I always sprung him and it this time he don't believe me anymore and I went to I do have a video he took a video and I was shocked because um, there are two lines I'm pregnant. <laughs> Which means it is positive and I, I cannot even imagine that that's happening. I was so shocked myself. Like I was freaking out like, is this true? Like, let's buy another pregnancy test because I, I think this is not true. So we buy again, again and again until um, my appointment is already like today and then we go to the OB and tell them that uh, I want to make sure if I'm pregnant. <laughs> so the OB was very kind and she she asked me, if, uh, is this your first time? I said, yeah, it's my first time, fortunately. And wow, you're so lucky you're pregnant. And she told me to have an ultrasound. So um, she gave me a note and gave me a lot of tests to do, like laboratories for blood, for the urine and everything. So I do have a frame here for the first picture of my baby. So this is our baby. So he was like a pea, <laughs> so small. The first time I saw it uh, in the ultrasound room in the screen is I feel so happy. Like, oh, I can't believe that I'm making a life inside me. And also my husband was just waiting in there and can't wait to see the photo as well because he cannot come. So, so after that is, um, we went to laboratory tests and do everything. And there's also an HIV test, blood test, hepatitis, like everything. We do that because the doctor uh, recommended and she want to know if the baby is in a healthy environment inside my womb. And 
So after that, like July, we did have our second wedding, which is our garden wedding. All the challenges we face to make this moment happen. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for saying yes. Thank you for choosing me. And I'll spend the rest of my life repaying that debt. <laughs> and I look forward to the life that we will build together. I cannot believe all the things we've done in such a short time. Can you imagine what we can do with a lifetime? There's, there's probably things I forgot to say, but we have a lifetime to say these things. So I'll just leave it with a heartfelt thank you. And I love you. I'm already three months pregnant and I didn't tell anybody yet that I'm pregnant because um, I'm afraid of having a miscarriage or yeah, it's, it's too very early to tell the news. The only people who knows that I'm pregnant was my family, my mom and my dad. What are you doing here? So um, it was very challenging because we did have like a photo shoot. Okay. Also, um, there's a lot of errands by the time before our second garden wedding, I mean the second wedding. So um, it was very exhausting, but I'm so happy that we're all done of it. And then after that, after the wedding, we went to have a honeymoon in Shangri-La. Right in the middle of Yeah. Can I have some? You need to eat up. As I can remember, I only stayed there for a night because um, I feel nauseous and I was vomiting a lot and I'm really picky on the first trimester of my pregnancy. Like, I don't like to eat anything. Like, even chicken, pork, veggies, like the smell. I do have a food aversion. So it, it made me lose a lot of weight. And also when I went to the to the hospital for the first time and I was um, the doctor said that I have a this kind of illness I forgot um, it's like extreme vomiting and nausea so it was very hard for me I thought I will be dead because um, the moment I arrive in the hospital they cannot see the veins because it's already very uh, dehydrating I mean I'm so dehydrated dehydrated and the first time I saw my husband's face is really so stressful and so shocked and he doesn't know what to do because it's his first time in the Philippines going to a hospital in an emergency room <laughs> like I do appreciate his efforts and he never leaves me I know that it was a very hard time and I don't want to be in that situation again so after four days um i already went out like i was discharged i'm also so happy that my mom come over to take care of me because i can't live without my mom <laughs> so my mom is the one who's taking care of me because christopher it, he doesn't know what to do and he just want to stay in the hotel and like that and also, um, I was so worried about the baby, so we had a second scan. Um, it's good that the baby is just fine and it's not affected by that sickness. And the doctor gave me a lot of um, advices that I don't, I, I need to follow it. Um, I have a lot of food that is restricted. I'm avoid to eat. Um, oily dairy chocolate and something like that so I do have a very strict diet for about two weeks and I decided to go home in Leyte to my hometown so my mom could take care of me and there's a lot of variety of fruits and vegetables in there which are fresh so I was <laughs> eating a lot trying to gain weight again 
but unfortunately after the month of august which is september after my birthday i went to the hospital again for the second time with the same exact reason so i i actually don't know why is it like that so we paid a lot of hospital bills for the month of august and september and it's not even in our budget but i'm still happy that the baby is fighting and you know and the second time that i had the hospitalization is the baby is really having a contraction and the doctor gave me something like just to make the baby um like just to make the baby stay and i had a scan again and i was just thinking why is it happening to me like every pregnancy is different mine is different and right now i'm feeling better ever that i am here in australia um, i'm eating the food that i want um, because maybe six months is like the baby is already grow grown up and you know like it's just a part of the first trimester or second trimester when you have those kinds of illnesses and i just want to have a um, healthy baby and normal baby and soon we're having or we're planning to have a gender reveal which is very soon so i'm excited also we're excited to know what's our baby's gender so we bought some few things for the baby but not all of it um i'm not very overbearing about motherhood but i want to <laughs> I want to be a good mom. I don't know how to take care of a baby, but I'm excited and also nervous at the same time because this is a first time experience for us. Like away to my mom, like my mom is in the Philippines. I am here in Australia. I'm <laughs> making my own life, making my own family. And it's just good that we have a cat right now because it's like stress reliever <laughs> the cat is very entertaining even she's introvert and so what can you say about our baby are you excited very excited <laughs> you're going to be a dad soon mm -hmm. are you going to be a good dad the best <laughs> all right so we'll be having our gender reveal next week and I oh, didn't make a vlog for that too. So anyway, thank you so much for watching for this very short vlog and I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.